it's it's the writers that and the promoters they call it jazz. I guess the word jazz has come to have a kind of a sophisticated feeling. It's jazz, you know. It's not rock. It's jazz. I don't know. So it's just music. It's just music. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, when we first played together, it was in a theater in Chicago in 1991. We had spent the night before thinking about possible tunes that we might play. And Chick, whenever he walks down and sits at the piano, he always noodles, whatever. So he noodled, and then I noodled after he noodled, and then we continued oh, yeah. noodling for about 45 minutes before we played our first song. So improvisation was basically is the foundation of our relationship. We had a bowl of noodles. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's nothing we ever discuss or talk about. It's just something naturally there, and which is why it's so nice because we don't have to figure it out. It's nothing to figure out. That's right. It's just something that is, and and it's so nice and works so great. Uh, we kept saying, well, let's do another one. Let's yeah. do another one. Yeah. Yeah. We had some tunes, but then the tunes we use as springboards for improvisation. You know, we might play the tune, start in one key and in another, start in one field and in another, you know. Well, Bobby says to me, what do you want to play? And then I say to him, well, what do you want to play? And we figure it out. And then we figure it out. And I admire Bobby for, for being so great at how he uh, gets the audience to do simple things, you know. But I think to, to say, to ask you, well, how do you do that? Uh, I don't, you know. You just invite them in. Yeah. You just you just get the audience to relax, and then you invite them in. You know, I, I firmly believe that everyone in the audience, at least most people in the audience, have a desire to be on stage with us anyway and play. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of musicians out there, yeah. or people who studied piano or studied voice who gave it up, who kind of dreamed that they were that they had stuck with their lessons, and so there's this pull to there's this gravitational pull to be on stage yeah. with us anyway. Yeah. So it's easy to invite them in because they're ready to go. Well, yeah. I think that's part of the job description. You know, we're as musicians. I feel it's important for us to to sing and play things that are rede redemptive, redeeming, uplifting, and joyful. Because there's, there's enough negativity in the world. You know. Pan Perin mě jako vyzval někoho z diváků, ať si jde zahrát a já jsem byl jak náměsíčný, jsem za ním šel prostě jak za bráchu, no. Hrála se skladba Autumn Leaves a já jsem tak nějak pochopil, že zřejmě se po mně nechci, abych hrál jenom téma, tak jsem si zaimprovizoval a to se mi jako, tam se cítím asi nejvíc doma, no. Pro mě to byl velký zážitek a děkuju Vilemovi a děkuju všem, že to, jsem si tam mohl užít dneska s váma, no. Super, děkuji.